Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So believe it or not, Google has already rolled out our next early stable release for Google Chrome version 119, which they do a week before the official release. And as I've mentioned before, most including myself, wouldn't have received the early stable of 119 at this stage because um, they only roll it out to a small percentage of users. And as I've mentioned previously, that's to test bugs and issues if there are any problems before the official release to the general public. So the majority of us um, will get the official release of Chrome version 119, I would say starting next week, Tuesday the 31st or Wednesday the 1st, and the early stable rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 25th. Now, if you would be interested, just a video as more or less what to expect with our next stable release. And this is according to what's happening in the beta channel. And also we talk about a lot of new features on this channel. So this is a guesstimation on my part and not an official um, change log. And obviously this is open and subject to change. Now, first of all, um, we will get security fixes. Google always pushes out security fixes uh, with major version upgrades. And those security fixes also roll out more frequently now from a week to week basis. And then uh, two of uh, three new features that could be rolling out are to do with tab groups and organizing and syncing your tab groups. Now, most of these features I've already posted individual videos on. So if you want more information, just do a search accordingly on the channel. But just a quick overview for the purpose of this video. And for this one, we're going to head over to Chrome Canary, which is a preview version. And if we just quickly add a tab to a new group, here we can see that they could be rolling out the ability to save and sync your tab groups. And what happens when this feature is turned on? Um, that obviously saves and syncs your tab groups. So even if you close the browser um, and reopen, um, it'll keep that tab group saved, which I think is a nice move. And um, if you have the same Google account, then the tab group will also automatically be synced to your other devices. Now, this could only be rolling out for enterprises, but nonetheless, just putting it out there because it currently is in beta. And if you want to enable this feature in the stable version already, you can use the experimental flag tab groups save as I have posted previously. So um, saving a tab group could be on its way with our next stable release in version 119. Now moving on to the next, also to do with tabs. And this is the organizer organized tabs that I've been posting on, um, tab organization using artificial intelligence AR. Now, I have been posting quite a few videos on this, so um, you can even just go back a couple of days on the channel and you'll see those. But um, organized tabs using AR is a feature that will automatically uh, create tab groups. And for this, we're just going to head over to a screenshot and GIF once again provided by Leo over on X, which will give us a general idea. And first of all, um, this is going to be part of the search tabs feature in Google Chrome. And here you can see you will get a new organized tabs uh, next to the tab search all tabs. And using AR, it organizes any open tabs automatically into different groups. And um, something else you can do is you'll be able to rename each tab group and also delete and organize those automatically saved tab groups using AR um, organization of your different tabs. And I think uh, if you are using a lot of uh, tabs being opened on each different browsing session, this may be a handy feature. Organized tabs could be on the way with our next version upgrade. Now this next one I'm just going to mention, and I have posted on this as well, is hover link previews on desktop. Now what this is all about, and for this we're just going to head over quickly to Wikipedia, just to hover over a link and as many of you may know, currently in Chrome, if you hover over a link, it doesn't show you much. It just gives you a small snippet of what that link is all about. Now, hover link previews, and what this will do is the feature will allow you to long press a link to preview its landing page. So you'll actually get a preview of the whole page where that link is pointing to, unlike currently where you just get a brief overview of that page. So that's also possibly on the way uh, in Chrome version 119. And that's more or less what I think we could see. And obviously this is open to change and 
I think we could start seeing a little bit more of the Chrome UI refresh um, menu changes and icon changes and that moving now into the stable. I still haven't received any of those UI refresh features when it comes to menu and icon changes. I know some of you have, but I haven't. And I think that's on a controlled rollout and region specific. But nonetheless, there is a possibility we could see some of the UI refresh uh, little tweaks and adjustments also making their way into the stable version 119. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.